Because the next step, let's create vectors, and this is a special feature of MATLAB. So imagine we want to create a vector which has the numbers 1, 33, and 99 in it, as an example. Then in MATLAB, what we do is, we write this this vector in square brackets with 1, 33, and then 99 semicolon. And these are spaces here. Yeah, so that's a space. Commas are also allowed to separate these elements, but usually people would use spaces for that. And so let's do this. Let's create this vector. So p equals. 133 and 99. So note the spaces. So now we have created this vector here. And as we have just learned, in order to retrieve the, the vector or the content of P, we just type in P and we're getting the values 133 and 99 back. So if we want to have the number of elements of the vector, so number of elements then we just then we just use a function length of p yeah so let's try this out here in this case length of p gives us three elements so now imagine we would like to access one of these elements in a vector so if we write p of 2, this gives us the second element. Let's try this out. So if we write p of 2, we're getting a second element, 33. So now what we can also do is, for example, accessing two elements. Let's say we would like to access the second and the third element then we write this in this way. So that's the, that's the second and third element. So let's do this. So if we write p equals 2 colon 3, then we're getting the second and third element of the vector. So how creating a vector with equally spaced elements? Yeah, so would like to create a vector which looks like 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and so on, with up to 1. So now, obviously, the um, a very stupid way of doing this is basically writing 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and so on, and um, writing this up to 1. This is um, Everybody who is, who is using a proper programming language would use a for loop for this. In MATLAB, you can do a, uh, MATLAB provides a shortcut for this. So you can write 0 and then colon 0.1 colon 1, whereas the 0 is the, is the starting value. This is the, this is the step width. And this is the last value. So let's do this here in, in MATLAB. So let's write p equals 0 to 0 0.11 1 and check this. And then we are directly getting a nice sequence from running from 0 to 1 equally spaced by the step width of 0 0.1.